Purple Banditos, welcome back to some more Let's Play Pokemon Platinum. I'm Purple Rodri. In the last episode, we defeated the old Lady Bertha. In today's episode, we're going to continue through this tunnel and face off once again against Ronald McDonald. No, I'm just kidding. It's Flint. Once again, we are ready to face off against the Fire-type Elite Four member. I'm going to go ahead and switch it up and put Nami up in front. As you guys know, this is going to be the most effective way to defeat this red-haired fellow. Let's go ahead and talk to him. I was waiting for you, challenger! Flint, the master of the fire type, is up next! Battles are clashes of the burning spirit of Pokémon! Battles aren't about appearances or what's weak or strong! It all comes down to whether the combatants can burn hot or not! Here we go! Rodri versus Flint! The third Elite Four member, the fire type Elite Four member! Here we go! We were challenged by Elite Four Flint. Let's see who he's gonna send out. He's gonna send out Hound Doom, and I'm gonna go ahead and send out Nami. This is gonna be a tough fight, as you guys know. Flint is a is a fiery fellow. He's ready to, you know, shoot us down and burn us up. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just use the surf. He went and used a uh, sunny day, which is actually gonna power up fire type moves. It should be okay. This is gonna be the toughest one for us to take down, I would say, um, just because uh, it's the the moves cut down water moves in half. I'm pretty sure. Uh, sunny day cuts water moves power in half so we're gonna go ahead it went for a dark ball so we should be able to tank it quite nicely then I'm gonna go for the surf and if we land it we should be able to KO this guy quite nicely and here we go pretty sure he's gonna get KO'd and KO'd Houndoom is down there we go we got it my Jerry is better than yours and uh, we went ahead and KO'd him we gained some XP and let's see who he's gonna send out next the sunlight is strong with this one uh, it's gonna send out Infernape I'm gonna go ahead and switch out and time to show us some moves. Here we go. Linz is going to come out. And we're ready to start taking down his Pokemon. Which should be quite easy. Now that we have Linz out. Ready to use the Earthquake. Ready to kick his butt. And ready to take him down. Let's go ahead and use Earthquake then. If we uh, use it properly. Just by clicking the button. We should be able to KO all the rest of his Pokemon. And it should just be a nice and easy sweep. Uh, of the rest of his team. We're about to find out right here though. If uh, all this training paid off. And if we will be able to do it one more time. Infernape is KO'd. Fantastic. So the first one is down. Woo, not too shabby. Not too shabby. This is exactly what I was expecting. And I'm glad it's working out. The sunlight is strong. It's not really going to do much now that we have our lens out. It's going to send out Flareon. Oh, poor little Flareon's about to get taken down by an earthquake. Cute little buddy. Uh, let's just go ahead and use earthquake then. And uh, this guy's going to get KO'd quite easily. Uh, my Nami could have also took this whole team down. I just thought it was a little bit better to uh, bring out Linz and just, you know, get some of those moves going. And uh, use Linz a little more since uh, Linz is a very, very strong part of our team. Super effective. Flareon is down. Oh, Flint must be shaking in his boots. Flint must be, oh, no, I can't believe this is happening to me. Magmortar is coming out. I'm pretty sure this is Flint's strongest Pokemon. So here we go. Magmortar is out. It is level 73. We're going to go for another Earthquake. If we can KO this, then we are basically in the clear, and we are ready to move on to the next one. Here we go. Let's see if the Earthquake is going to be pretty effective on it. We're about to find out. Is it going to KO it to... KO'd. All right, so Magmortar is down. Its strongest Pokemon is out, and we are ready to take down his last one, which uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to be... It's going to be, yeah, Rapidash. So here we go. Rapidash is coming out. Poor little horse. Didn't really feel like hurting him, but I guess we have to. Sorry we have to faint him. I can feel your determination. Your will is overpowering me. I'm pretty sure it's the earthquake that's overpowering you, not my will. I'm kind of just telling Lynch. Hey, Lynch, just spam the A button. Just KO the rest of his Pokemon with Earthquake. That's just how we're going to do it. That's our strategy for this whole thing because Earthquake is super effective on, like, all of his Pokemon. KO'd. Rapidash is down, and that should be it for Flint. Woohoo! We gained 2,838 XP points. We defeated Elite Four Flint. Ugh, I don't believe it's a loss. I didn't take you for granted. But I never expected you to win. I never even considered it. I'm blown away by this. You and your Pokemon are hot stuff. We got 8,760 for winning. Woo, burn right down to Cinders. Whoa, that was it then? Let's go ahead and talk to him one more time. Keep going. I know your spirit burns hot. Your whole team does. So that was it. That was Flint. We have officially defeated the third Elite Four member. Let's go ahead up these stairs, and we are ready to move on to the fourth and final of the Elite Four. Thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we'll continue on through this passageway and face off against the fourth Elite Four member. Three Elite Four members down, one more to go. See you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.